Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I have set myself a task. And I have a dry black background. I think there's at least a couple coats of paint on there. This was the cover to like a Sharpie. And that's a scoop that I use sometimes. And this is the modified version of that with a swipe tool on the front of it. I'm thinking maybe, I hope. Although that one's got kind of schmutzy underneath. So maybe I'll just use this one with less less smudge underneath. Put those, out, put those out of the way. Wow, I suddenly lost my ability to speak. Okay, so now what I'm just going to start with are the colors that I want. And I'm going to give myself a ribbon pour across. And I'm going to do it until I have enough paint to tip. This time I'm going to tip. That's a turquoise with metallic, with iridescent pearl fine in it. That is the orchid from color art, which is amazing, and I love. That is a mica powder that I believe call, was called something like Stardust, and it's not coming out very well, and who knows whether it's going to stay anyway. This is a cobalt blue, not 100% sure where, where that came from. This is plugged, and I thought it was open. There's a little layer in there. That is a I don't want to do that. I don't want to see that whole thing break open and go into my... Let's just give it a try with the... The tweezers are great. I just shove them right in the tip. And uh, so I waste a little paint getting the paint out of the tip, but at least it's free pretty quick. So I'm not so sure I was supposed to add that, but that's okay. Now what I've been doing recently, I've been using One of those. Really? <laughs> I want that open too. Well, I'll need a different pair of tweezers because that one's not gonna. I thought I checked all these. Well, there wasn't much. Whatever it was, it's gone now for the moment. I gotta clean my threads out really soon. So those are great colors. I think I'm gonna throw a little bit of turquoise color shift from Folk Art in there. Maybe a little bit of orange and some gold. I wanted to put some black enamel in there in case I could get it to sell up, but I think I want some of this. I don't want that to tip forward. That is the color shifting purple flash from Folk Art. Maybe I can get this to go across more than once. have a hair or a filament or sweater fuzz all right I'm gonna stop now and go back again and give myself some more paint because I really do want to tip this this time I'm really tempted to just go ahead and add Whatever is going to fall out of the shovel it does not matter right now. Nice shovel. Just going to add a little bit of everything again. And I think I should need less since I'm three quarters of the way across. I didn't put any of that blue in there because it usually sinks away. That's the Venetian blue. There's my turquoise color shift. What's missing? Oh, a little bit of orange. And maybe a little more will come out. And a little bit of that blue. And a little bit of that orchid. I don't mind if I have more paint this time. And I didn't put any gold in there. So obviously I want to. And I said I was going to put some enamel in and then I didn't. So we're going to put some in that side this time. go right down over the edge on both sides. Shovel swipe. We'll see. Now I'm not willing to waste any of that. So I'm perfectly happy to let it dribble right out of the shovel. 
even to the point of using a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula to drain the residuals, which I don't know what's going to happen because I, I, they probably won't even get seen. Now, normally I would just go like, hey, I like that, and we'll keep it, but I just did one similar. The colors are great. It's worth the risk. I've already primed another canvas in case one is not satisfying enough. Drag the spatula through for a second, and I have used up my colors. Yes, I have. I don't like wasting paint, so I don't do it. Now, do I want to put some gold in there? I do. More. So when I put my black enamel on, it'll be right near that gold. I could put that blue also on. Let's go both ways. I should torch too. Don't have nearly as much paint on this side. I want to put some black enamel in there. Because I can. That's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link under the link tree. Been waiting a while to do this. The tipping of the shovel pour. So to this I intend on adding some other things. Wherever I want, basically. And those things will move when I tip them. There's the blue. Now the blue, the Venetian blue, will often disappear and sink. So I kind of figured if I put it on a dry canvas, I'm going to be allowed to keep some of it. And I still want to swipe. And I'm not sure where I'm going to do that yet. Because I don't really want to anymore. <laughs> um, but wherever it is, I'm going to have to put the black in. So let's just do one at a time and give it a try. And see how far down... Whoop, sorry about my head. It goes and whether it sells. That's the Decor Americana 24 karat gold. And I, my intention is to continue on and add colors to the bottom also, which could go, which could come around with a shovel. But I'll be moving back up. And it might turn into some of that purple flash from folk art, because that's what's calling me right now, sitting over there next to me. Also, the, uh, the orchid is pretty amazing. Yeah. You don't have to use the flat of anything. You can, you can drag with the edge, too. Now, it doesn't go very far, because the canvas is dry. But that doesn't matter if I'm going to move up from the bottom. So I'm going to keep going, and I might just be very tempted to put more gold right above. I figure as long as I've got some enamel residual on that swipe card, I'm probably okay. Alright, so now I've got to come up from the bottom, or down again. I 
and I don't mind that I have a little bit of damp paint in there. I'm just going to keep swiping as I please. I definitely want some orchid. Never used a little finger swiper. I'm going to try not to be concerned about any scruffy looking little marks. I'm definitely thinking about putting a line of black enamel across the bottom before I add another color. Or colors. Probably shouldn't have gone a solid line, but I think that's going to change in a minute anyway. I did intend on using the green gold, so maybe I will bring some of that in there sporadically. I was going to finger swipe straight down through, but I like the look of what I have more. And this reminds me I can definitely add some dots at some point. So I'm going to go down and up. I've got some on my other side and I'm going to steal it. Put it right back in. I like the black at the bottom, and I like the colors going up too. They're trees! Oh, that's so cool. They're funky, funky, funky colored trees. That's my forest. There's the foliage, and here are the trunks. Very cool. I have had trees on my mind a lot lately. We're talking about a group challenge for the Facebook group. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group and uh, the December challenge was supposed to be either seasonal or so far we're thinking trees. Now I could just definitely make some branches right up in there because why not? Because I can. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. Swamp trees. And then I can put a moon and stars if I want to, or not. I should torch, but there's my forest. I could do something else if I wanted to, right? but I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Did I just say that twice? <laughs> I should not do that upside down. I wanted to give you guys a peek. I'm really thinking about blowing some paint around with my airbrush just to make those black lines disappear, but I think we can have hanging things in the trees, right? Maybe we'll just play with the skewer for a second. A little bit here and there. Kind of liked them without me doing that to them, but I don't think I'm going to hate them this way either. Steal some paint. I like the little holes in the canopy and the dark spots that look that look like you're seeing whatever's behind. Go back to using my tool. It works better. It drags more paint with it. Better branches. I like crossing them over. Oh yeah, no, I'm having a ball. <laughs> I, this is not the last time I'll do this. You'd think I would have known what I was doing before I started, wouldn't you? And add some branches up in there. Very cool. So we've got sphagnum moss or whatever the mossy stuff is that's called here. That's here in all the trees, and that's what that the hanging stuff reminds me of. Yeah. Happy trees. 
Dr. Seuss trees for sure. Maybe in a dark and demon-filled forest, but yeah, no, I like my trunks and everything. Neato. I did, I said neato. <laughs> so I have over 90,000, almost 91,000 subscribers. And uh, if you're new, please be welcomed. I love you all. If you're looking to make a purchase, you can contact me through my email address. Right underneath the Linktree link is my email address for anybody interested in taking a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, or possibly making a purchase of an artwork, which is obviously the best possible way you can support me and uh, keep the studio rolling. And I really appreciate it a lot. Yeah, I'm just pulling more branches and poking some little skewer marks right up into the into the canopy. So what else should I tell you guys? I have Teespring clothing under the video, which would make um, this would make a really cool all over print t-shirt or just a t-shirt in general. And speaking of that, I have Pixels.com and Friday Night America are on the link tree. Or you can visit the Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes and more. Yeah, there's vines in the trees. And uh, I kind of feel like my stars should be purple or something, but um, I love you guys. Please share my videos. Please watch them when the notifications come out. If you watch them longer, it helps me out. The thumbs up helps me. All those things are a great assistance to me. Under the link tree, you can find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my website, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. If you are looking for my paint pouring recipe, you can find it underneath the video description. You are, if you are interested in uh, maybe being entered to win a painting, I offer paintings in each month to whoever wins the drawing and the drawing prizes can be seen on the exhibition video on the end screen of every video. Thank you guys for your wonderful comments. Thank you for all the donations in the past that helped keep me painting. Don't forget I've got two books on the Amazon link where if you shop it's at no idea cost to you and it helps me buy art supplies. Eventually uh, my books are called Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities and I think I have told you almost everything. Wow I might actually be, be getting get better after this. Um, I do have over 1600 videos and they are added to playlists. Those playlists are organized by the hundred and also by the topic. So, should I zoom in? Should I torch? I should torch. <laughs> I almost forgot to torch. Torching releases the bubbles caught in the paint. I love my tree canopy. I want to, yeah. So I don't have any cells, but I got great colors. I do have some cells. Oh, I got all kinds of little cells in the bottom. Neat. Sometimes the paint has to be just the right thickness to give me cells. I want to do it again. I wonder if my other canvas is ready. So you guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I hope to see you anon. Look on the community board for tomorrow's video at around somewhere between 1.30 and 3 p.m. most days. And on Friday and Saturday nights also at 10 p.m. I just changed my time. I might have to slide this video in really soon because I love it. It does need stars in my opinion, but it could probably live without them too. All right, you guys, I said take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I told you I love you already. So I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.